Hello everyone, here's a question from exercise 8.1, decimal chapter of class 6. Now this is based on the new edition of the syllabus of 6th class. So the question is, the first question is which is greater. So we have few questions, we have to compare the decimal numbers and we have to see which one is greater. So here's the first question. Now when you're comparing a decimal numbers, first thing is you have to check which the whole number, the whole part. Whole part means uh, the number which is present before decimal, that is this part on the left side of the decimal, these are called whole parts. After decimal, that is on the right side of the decimal, what you see, they are called decimal part. So first thing is when you're comparing decimal, you have to check the whole part. Here the whole part here, if you see both are zeros. So in that case, we have to check the decimal part. In the decimal part, you have to check the number which is present in the extreme left. So this is decimal part here. After decimal point, what numbers you see, those are called decimal parts. And the extreme left number, that is 3. Or we can see the number which is present in the 10th part. 10th, it's not tenths, it's 10th part. That is after decimal, the immediate number what you see, it's called 10th part. Now you have to compare them. Now which one is greater? We have 3 and 4. We have 4, right? 4 is greater than 3. Which means 0 0.4 will be greater than 0 0.3. The second question. 0 0.07 and here we have 0 0.02 now it's like a first question itself we have to compare the first whole parts whole parts both are zero so we don't have to do that again after that the next extreme left in the decimal part the left number this is decimal part the left number is nothing but the zero right or you have to compare the number which is after decimal what you have so here we have zero here after decimal also we have zero so we cannot compare them so we'll take the next number so here we have seven here we have two so seven is greater which means 0 0.07 is greater than 0 0.02 then the next one we have a three and we have 0 0.8 now three is a whole number and 0 0.8 is a decimal decimal number or we can say that you can see three is a whole number and in this number the whole part is 0. So 3 is obviously greater than 0, right? So 3 will be greater than 0 0.8. Then the next one, 0 0.5 and 0 0.05. So again, first compare the whole part. The whole part, we here we have a 0, so we cannot do anything. So next number is, after decimal, we have to check the numbers. We have Here we have 5 and here we have a 0. So 5 is greater than 0, right? So which means 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.05. Then the next question, 1.23 and 1.2. So if you compare, the whole part is 1 and here also it is 1. And after decimal, that is number which is present in the 10th part, here we have a 2, here also we have a 2. So we cannot compare. Next number here is 3 and here there is no number. If there is no number, then it means it is 0 is present. If there is no number, we have to assume there is a 0. Now compare them. So which one is greater? 3 is greater or 0 is greater? 3 is greater. Which means 1.23 is greater than 1.20. Then the next question. 0 0.099. And here we have 0 0.19. Again, the whole part. Whole part we have 0 and 0, so we cannot compare. The next number is number which is in 10th part. That is after decimal point. Here we have 0 and here we have 1. Which one is greater? 1 is greater, which means 0 0.19 is greater than 0 0.099. Then the next question, 1.5 and 1.50. Now the whole part is also 1 here and the tenth part, that is our decimal, we have 5 and 5. Here we have 0 and there is no number here, which means we have to take it as 0 holes again here. So if you see these both numbers are equal. So 1.50 and 1.50, they both are equal. So let me raise this part here. The next question, we have H, which is 1.431, or here we have 1.490. We have to compare this two. So the whole part is 1 and 1, so it, we cannot compare. The next one, the tenth part here, we have 4 and 4, we cannot compare. So the next number we have to compare is a number which is in the hundredth place. So which is 3 and here it is 9. So if the both numbers are same, just move to the next number. So we have 3 and 9. Which one is greater? 9 is greater, which means 1.490 is greater than 1.431. Then the next one. 
3.3 and here we have 3.300 now if you see the whole part is also 3 it's same and the next number after decimal that is the number in the tenth place is also 3 we cannot compare and here we have a 0 and here there is a no number so like I mentioned before if there is a no number we have to take it as 0 so if I can keep here 0 and it actually doesn't make any change to the number there is no value to the zeros if you put after decimal point if you put zeros it doesn't have it will not going to change the value of the number so uh, here I can put two zeros because there is a no number to compare if you, you can see that the both numbers are actually equal okay then the next one, the last question, 5.64 and 5.603. Remember, it doesn't matter, like it doesn't, you don't have to see the number of digit after decimal point. It will not going to work like that. We have to check the place value. After decimal, we have to check the place value in case the whole parts are same. Then we have to check the decimal places, that is the 10th place, 100th place, 1000th place like that, we have to compare them. If you see here there are 3 digits are present and here there are only 2 digits are present, which means that this number will be greater. No, it's not like that, we have to check the place value. So the whole part is 5, 5 and 5, so we cannot compare. So the next uh, next number we're going to see is the, tenth num the number in the 10th place, that is after decimal what you have. So here we have a 6 and here also we have 6, we cannot compare. So go to next number, that is number in the 100th place, that is here we have 4, here we have 0. Which one is greater? 4 is greater, so 5.64 is greater than 5.603. So this is how we can compare the numbers, so you have to check the place value. First check for the whole part, if in case they are equal, then go for the number which is after decimal, just immediately after decimal point or in the decimal place, in the decimal part, that is let me take example this this is a decimal part right after decimal what numbers you see it's called decimal part in the decimal part you have to check the number which is an extreme left it is here in this case 4 in that is a 10th place if that number is also same then go to the 100th place that is next number like that you have to keep on comparing so i hope this question is clear the first question of this exercise in case you have other questions or doubts in this chapter you can drop a comment i'll try to answer it thank you so much for watching